Hello friends, welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. I hope uh, you have been watching uh, various videos posted by us on uh, YouTube and you know through these videos we try to uh, cover uh, uh, different uh, Abacus applications uh, on structural part, thermal and uh, contact problems and uh, we, are, we are committed for that and we are working hard to bring you variety of videos which will demonstrate the the learning part and you know on the Aweka software as well as the engineering approach so which is equally important to have a meaningful solution for to generate uh, through this uh, powerful software like Abacus. So in this uh, video uh, I will explain you on the SPS example. So we have been hearing what is SPH and you know, what is the significance of uh, this SPH modeling in Abacus. SPH is nothing but smooth particle hydrodynamics. This is nothing but uh, a computation method for simulating fluid flow and it is a mesh free Langrangian method where coordinates move with the fluid. SPH is based on the interpolation theory. So th this is all uh, what we read and we, we understand when we go through the literature. So let's ex let's see the examples like real world examples where you have to use the SPH uh, method or modeling method so that we can capture the event properly and then uh, derive the meaningful results out of uh, that simulation. So a very typical example what we see is uh, a bird hit uh, on aeroplane wing or aeroplane. So if you see uh, this is a picture wherein uh, you know, aircraft is moving at a very high speed and then you have a bird which is uh, which is hit and the impact is uh, so high you can see the damages on uh, the air aircraft body okay so this is a front nose body where you see a severe deformation and then there is another example wherein you have a helicopter and there is a bird hit event uh, somewhere in this area so so these examples you know through the Langrangian method that is a regular meshing method with a regular element or mesh method it is very difficult to capture because it involves a lot of high deformation and we end up uh, numerical errors so let's see so we went to you know when we are to use this uh, SPH uh, approach so when you see a very high speed uh, event okay for example aircraft uh, the speed average speed of aircraft is somewhere around 700 uh, kmph uh, and when you and the bird is hit so of course the bird is is it contains a uh, uh, 70 to percent of uh, water body and uh, so that is uh, being you know the effective way of modeling is a bird in a sph method and then the aircraft body in langrangian approach Okay, so that is one way of uh, solving the problem and, uh, and you see the severe deformation. So once we see the impact, you see a severe deformation where the regular uh, the FEA approach uh, using Langrangian method fails. That is a, a point where we, we think of using SPH modeling approach. So another uh, good example is a metal, metal cutting uh, where you see a severe deformation, the chip formation of the metal uh, through this uh, drill. Drill is a very uh, hard material okay and uh, and it is uh, cutting through the the steel which is more softer material and uh, the chip formation so so this is also can be effectively modeled as in sph where you can model the the steel material okay so on on which the the tool is being drilled is can be your sph uh, part and then the the drill which is the hardest part so that you can model as a as kind of a, a rigid uh, body so this is a one approach okay and another example is a liquid sloshing so in the in the event of transport or or uh, any foreign body coming and hitting to a uh, tank so in this uh, case you see uh, some uh, for a foreign body coming and hitting to the tank and and if uh, this liquid happens to be have a hazardous uh, uh, material then uh, it, it might lead to some uh, catastrophic failure and that uh, would lead to some lo uh, losses of life so for that uh, we need to ensure that this uh, structure has to have sufficient strength to to handle the sloshing of the liquid uh, due to some impact so so these are the typical examples of SPH modeling so I will uh, uh, give you some uh, some definitions like uh, when say SPH it is smooth particle hydrodynamics is a computation method for simulating fluid flow and it is mesh free Langrangian method where coordinates move with the fluid and uh, SPH is based on the interpolation theory 
SPS method works by dividing fluid into a set of discrete elements so that is referred as particles okay and these particles have special distance known as the smoothing length okay and uh, this HPH particles has to you know you can assign the properties such as density temperature viscosity so that you can represent that body a particular body in HPH state in a nutshell so what is this uh, HPH uh, technique so in this slide I'll I'm showing you a simple example where we have a water drop droplet and then it could also be a ice ball hail impact and uh, this uh, water droplet you need to mesh as you know you need to do a regular mesh and then take out the element and only retain the nodes and those particular nodes you can later you need to convert as a SPH particles and these SPH particle you can assign a regular uh, uh, properties like uh, or say loads and boundary conditions like you can assign uh, initial velocity or displacements or whatever uh, th it depends upon the the, the kind of uh, uh, problem you are solving and then in this case you imagine this SPH particles are assigned with the uh, initial velocity and then it is being impacted on a plate and this plate okay so you need to uh, mesh as a regular element with a regular element assign a regular properties say modulus elastic plastic properties and uh, remember like when we handle the SPH particles SPH particles need to be defined with equation of state okay so this is extremely important to know that to simulate the SPH particles we need to have equation of state and uh, later I will uh, you know uh, let you know like how we need to uh, get the equation of state so it requires some more engineering to understand the equation of state for that particular uh, structure or the part or material being impacted okay so in this case we are considering droplet water droplet so that is very easy to have the equation of state for the water droplet and then uh, so you can continue with the apply boundary condition to the plate and then you need to define the contact between this uh, SPH particles to the Lagrangian mesh and then this event is you need to solve in uh, explicit dynamic steps and then you can see the simulation and then the result can be extracted from this event so this is how the SPH in nutshell looks like so any uh, whatever the complexity involves so overall you need to fit into this uh, this approach okay so let's move on uh, to next slide so there are few other uh, classic examples of SPH so one is this is a hail impact you can see the solar PV cell modules okay and uh, these uh, typically these uh, PV solar uh, modules that is uh, solar photovoltaic modules need to undergo the IEC and UL certification so in that you they have to subject they are subjected to the ice hail impact and uh, these uh, and these uh, PV cells were evaluated to understand the effect of uh, ice hail impact on the the top glass of the PV cell and uh, the essential requirement is a uh, top glass of the this PV cell module has to be intact there should not be any shattering of the glass or breakage of the top glass so that is a regulatory requirement so this but this particular event can be very effectively simulated using the SPH technique and uh, there are some equation of state it is available uh, th you know through the if you do some literature search you should be able to have the equation of state for this uh, hail, uh, hail impact or ice ball so that can you can readily you can plug into your as a properties into simulating model so another example you can uh, imagine of a uh, uh, liquid transportation and uh, due to the bumps and the the change in uh, I mean the acceleration of the vehicle you see the lot of water sloshing or a fluid uh, sloshing within this tank and uh, one can uh, come out to, to to reduce the impact of this sloshing effect we can uh, one can design the baffles and those these particular baffles design and the sloshing simulated using this SPH method and one can come out with the different contours of the baffles so that uh, the the dynamic impact of the the liquid within the tank can be reduced and can be streamlined so that the structure can sustain the the sloshing impact during this transportation so moving on so what we we see some other typical example like we talked about uh, the hail impact 
and the sloshing the another is the ballastic impact so this ballastic impact wherein you see the some projectile is coming and hitting uh, the the shield okay and uh, this uh, this event can be effectively again uh, simulated using this sph techniques so similarly there are uh, there are several examples one can imagine like uh, in case of this uh, wire severe deformation of this wire this can be effectively managed uh, uh, with the sph uh, modeling okay and we can understand the the interaction uh, between the the each layer and how the deformation pattern looks like and you know the the intensity of the stresses so all those can be effectively uh, seen through this uh, sph modeling for uh, this kind of wire deformation and then another example you have the the gear which is being uh, you know the uh, used for uh, met, uh, the mixing operation kind of this kind of uh, mixing operation okay and uh, there is uh, another one can imagine like you have a crane and you are uh, uh, doing this kind of uh, earth moving equipment can also be effectively modeled using sph techniques so there is another example and the squeezing of the toothpaste so this is another sph example so let's uh, uh, summarize and understand uh, what is sph so it's talked about this the sph is nothing but smooth particle hydrodynamics and this is a computation method for simulating fluid flow and SPH is meshless, meshless Lagrangian numerical technique used to model problems where large dif distortion occur. So wherever you see the regular uh, FE modeling fails to capture the phenomena due to the severe deformation, distortion of the element. So the next step is to look for the SPH capabilities and the SPH method works by dividing the fluid into set of discrete elements. Those are referred as particles that is PC3D okay and these particles have a special distance known as smoothing length okay so so this smoothing length you can define into pc3d card so once we uh, we'll also discuss the example uh, into maybe next video and i will take you through all the steps how to carry out a hands-on example to simulate uh, the say droplet impact or hail impact on a surface okay so when to use sph simulation as i as i talked about this so for problems like high impact velocity impact impact with uh, special materials like ceramics and glass because ceramics and glass are extremely brittle so 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 usually they shatters and if you are interested to know the 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 phenomenon so after the glass shattering so how it uh, spreads across and uh, are damaging any other adjacent materials so those can be captured through this uh, SPH technique and uh, the direct uh, interaction between solid and fluid so as I discussed so so any interaction between the solid and fluid can be modeled through the SPH uh, uh, technique so the typical examples so just to recap to high impact wherever you see high impact and uh, blast burst strike metal cutting sloshing hell impact fluid interaction with structure so that is a, a generic way you can look at so, so let's uh, see some definitions so, so when we say Langerangian method so most common and regular FE method used for solid structure simulation so this is something where we are very familiar and we do it regularly and during deformation low transfer material moves with the mesh so this this is also we have seen and we regularly do it so whenever we apply a load or bonding condition so the mesh moves with the load or the with the material okay and uh, very large deformation so when for Langerangian method, if the deformation is very large, then that leads to disintegration of material and gives numerical errors. So this is where the, the limitation of Langerangian method occurs. And uh, at that point, one has to decide to, to explore the SPH method. Okay, so SPH method is meshless method, require equation of state. So the equation of state is extremely important input required for SPH method and it can solve large deformation problem with high accuracy so so that is uh, a beauty of uh, this sph method and they, it it has a lot of advantage but at the same time we also need to realize uh, so what there are some limitations to like to simulate the sph modeling 
it requires a lot of computationally demanding it is it takes a lot of time cpu time so that is computationally demanding and it requires special properties like equation of state and that need to be generated through the research and engineer data and typically it require pressure versus volumetric strain so this data you require as a, as a part of equation of state and then needs uh, initial iteration to capture the phenomena correctly because you need to tune the model so that the whatever the event you are trying to simulate that has to be captured properly so so it it does come out with uh, come up with uh, some limitation and so you have to really weigh you know how what you want out of uh, the simulation like what are your your area of interest in terms of results so what are the level of uh, simulation you are looking at so based on that you can you can take a call okay your model involves a lot of uh, severe deformation and uh, regular lagrangian method fails okay and you also at the same time okay where the structure the one which which has the severe deformation so that for that particular material you have equation of state so that has to be has to, that has to be generated and you can incorporate that equation of state state into your fe model okay so so this is what i wanted to cover in this video i hope uh, you got a fair idea of uh, sph modeling and uh, and it will give you a good start to understand the sph uh, capabilities in the, so in next video now uh, i will come up uh, with a, a hands on example wherein will 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 simulate uh, the the simple droplet or ice uh, hail impact on a plate and see if through that you will get exact uh, the modeling method using abacus uh, thank you for watching this video uh, if you like this video please go ahead and like us on youtube thank you bye bye